Turkey Trot, Pete Clara, and the National Wild Turkey Federation have a long-standing friendship and relationship. The National Wild Turkey Federation is, is a nationally known, highly respected conservation organization. The, the Northeast Callmaker Summit was kind of a brainchild of, of myself and Sean Langevin, our regional director. We wanted to resurrect a, a, a tradition that we'd held here for many years called the Guns and Lobster Bash. For some of the finest turkey call makers in the country to hang out here at turkey drop for two days and then be joined by people that um, w w were passionate about the calls that they were making. Many of those people stayed over and offered their calls for auction for the NWTF fundraiser on Saturday. The spring scenario is going to be for the friction guys. And all that's going to be, instead of the MC keep calling, you know, for tree call or fly down and all this stuff, we're just going to give them the scenario and they're going to go with it. The spring scenario is birds waking up in the morning. So that would consist of your tree talk, however you want to do it. So you got birds waking up in the morning, they fly down. And then in the spring scenario, we have an intruder hen is going to come into the area. Now that, you can bring that intruder hen into the area however you want. Maybe she'll come in cutting, maybe she'll fight and purr, maybe she'll yelp real aggressive, who knows. But you're gonna wake up, you're gonna fly down, and the intruder hen's gonna come in. And the judges are gonna be scoring you on your tree talk, your fly down, your hen talk, whatever, however you wanna bring that intruder hen in, and then your overall presentation. So try to make it real. The, the more you can create the scenario, the more points you're gonna get from the judges. Then we're going to go right into the open, and the open guys are going to do a fall scenario. And that's going to consist of, uh, we're going to say, a scattered flock waking up in the morning. So however, a scattered flock, you know, you hear that a lot up here at Turkey Trot, whether they're, we're used to right now. <laughs> uh, you know, key keys or whatever, waking up. A scattered fall flock waking up in the morning. They fly down to start their day, and then two new jakes come into the equation. So that can be your Jake talk, Jake fights, however you want to do it. Uh, and you're going to be scored on tree talk, fly down, your hen and Jake talk, and then your overall presentation. So it's real simple. We'll just say like caller number one. Yeah, I know Ken got a little bit of that feel in New York. Sure, all the way down to Supervene, yeah, swing way around, come up that other New hen coming into the group. Hello, my name is Russ Avery. I'm the president of the National Wild Turkey Federation for the uh, Southern Tier Chapter. I'm out here in uh, Canada, New York, out here at uh, Turkey Trot Acres. We're here at the uh, Guns and Lobster Bash today. Yesterday we had a call maker summit where we had a lot of the uh, personal gun make, or, uh, call makers here and uh, we sold a lot of calls and uh, we had a calling contest. Two of the individuals uh, won the competition and they will go on and they qualified for the uh, national calling contest here that is run at the national level. And uh, today we're at the uh, Lobster Bash where we're going to have uh, lobster and uh, prime rib. Also, uh, we're giving away a lot of guns, so the folks came out and uh, supported the National Wild Turkey Federation. So we thank you for your support for that. Today's going to be a great day, and uh, as you can hear in the background, a lot of turkey noises, and that's great. And uh, so we're here to support the National Turkey Federation, and uh, it's going to be a great cause. So we just thank you for uh, your support. I'm Pete Clare, my wife Sherry. She's probably in the kitchen as always. And we got, I would hope, a pretty neat meal for you. The lobsters are done. The, the, we got big roasted New York strip loins. 
But before that, we're going to have a little bit of live music and just, just a short little speech. Uh, not a speech. My, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Matt Moret. If you've been in the turkey business for as long as a lot of us have with the turkey game, you know the name Matt Moret. He's with Zinc Calls, AVNX Decoys, and he's the host of AVNX TV. Matt, I call you my friend, and I'd love to have you come up and introduce our special guests who are here today. Where are you hiding, Matt? He's trying to weasel out of this seat. Matt, thank you. I've been getting to talk to turkey hunters across the country for the last 30 years um, just by going and competing in a couple turkey calling contests. Fortunate to have a dad that got me out of the woods when I was six years old and got me addicted to these dang things. And I see so many old friends here today, lots of new faces. And I mean, what better way to spend a Saturday afternoon than a bunch of redneck turkey hunters celebrating the greatest game bird that's out there. But, you know, first of all, I want everybody to take your hats off and, and give a big round of applause. Not your hats, I'm sorry. Not yet, I'm not gonna do that yet. But to Pete, Pete Claire, and Sherry, and Sherry, that they do an incredible job. They're one of the reasons This industry, this, this turkey industry that we get to talk about, whether it's a custom turkey call maker, the NWTF, or companies like mine, we get to get to celebrate all the time and just appreciate what's going on. But here at Turkey Trot, a lot of grassroots things happened a long time ago. There's so much history right here, so it's the coolest thing for me to come up here and, and get to spend some time with, with these folks and talk about old stories. I saw some old photo, photo albums today. That stuff means more to me now. And let me tell you something. Any brand new turkey hunters out there that are here today? Anybody? Yes, sir. Yeah, I bet you. Are you serious? <laughs> I tell everybody, if you don't, that first turkey that gets in your freezer, if it didn't cost you 900 bucks a pound, you didn't buy enough crap. <laughs> but, uh, you know, here this weekend, there's so many good folks, and, and uh, two guys that are pretty special to me, good friends, one I work with all the time, Mr. Hunter Wallace. I don't know where Hunter's at. Hunter's a... <laughs> Seven. I can't even count anymore. But he's seven. seven Grand National Championships, which is the Super Bowl of turkey calling in the junior and intermediate division. He finally got his driver's license this year and is going to be able to uh, compete with the big boys up in the senior division. But trust me, they're all scared about him. But, you know, if you have any questions or anything, you know, for calling turkey hunting or just want to BS with Hunter, he's here for the day. And the next guy, I have a lot of stories I could tell about him. But on behalf of our company, the NWTF, Here's the most important message we're going to leave here today, I think. And um, how many hunters do you think are in the United States right now? Anybody have a guess? Somebody shoot out a number. Eight million. Who said that? Eight million. You're close. 11.2 million licensed hunters today. Ten years ago, we had 18 million licensed hunters. Turkey hunters, how many do you think there are in the country? Anybody have an idea? Half a million. 1.4 million. <laughs> 1.4. It was 3.2 five years ago. It's 2.8 right now. And uh, that's telling us all summer. And I know the NWTF is deep rooted in the recruitment. We all got to do a better job. We got to tell people how fun this is. We got to tell people how fun turkey hunting is. We got to band together as a, as a group and recruit more people out there, or this thing's gonna go away. I don't wanna be negative about it. We're doing good jobs on a lot of things, but especially these kids, and y'all that are parents that have teenage kids like me, this thing's the worst invention ever. <laughs> because it gets them out of the woods and gets them out not realize how fun it is. And that old turkey gobbles out there, the goosebumps hitting the back of your neck, and when you get addicted and 900 bucks a pound, or you come to an event at Turkey Trot to eat steak and lobster and spend all week's salary on a silent auction item. <laughs> I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to be a turkey hunter. I'm proud to see all of y'all. If y'all have any one of turkey stories, we'd love to hear them. But if I haven't met you, I'd love to meet you. And I'm going to turn the microphone over to Nate Hosey, and he's going to kick it off from some stuff. How's everybody doing? I want to I want to thank Matt. But you know, I do want to thank Pete because this is one of the most high-end microphone stands I've ever sang. <laughs> I came up, Pete said, I don't have a microphone stand. I said, well, I guess I don't have to play. He said, no, I'll figure it out. And he sure did. <laughs> uh, I want to thank Matt, you know, for the kind words. The reality is he was a lot kinder than I thought he would be. 
Um, I did call him a bunch, like a crazy ex-girlfriend. I was trying to get Matt Barrett, you know, my turkey hunting hero, to come hunt with me. He never did return my call, but unfortunately I caught him trespassing on my land and we became buddies after that. We found out it was that good on his own. So for anybody here who served, currently serving, you know, or has been in the armed forces, I'd like to, everybody, let's give it up for our military. First Police officers, first responders, everybody that gives us the ability to come out and enjoy something like this. And here's to the foulings in spring morning mist. And here's to the sunrise over the lake my daddy fished. My grandpa told me to Man, what a weekend here at Turkey Trot. You know, Pete and Sherry Claire just opened the doors to a bunch of guys and girls that are just ate up with turkey hunting. The custom call makers came in town. You know, this is the kind of stuff that the NWTF was built on, the grassroots. Turkey Trot is a, is a place that, for me as a little kid, I remember watching my idols come up here and turkey hunt. And to bring it all back on an August afternoon and raise money for a great cause and just the, the camaraderie of everybody that's here, the stories, the BS, it's, there's nothing like it, you know, and, and any time that uh, all of us get together, it's a good time, and that's the cool thing about tur turkey hunting, the NWTF, it's here at Turkey Trot, it doesn't get any better than this, and, uh, you know, you always go home full, and a lot of people went home with prizes, and, you know, if you're looking forward to a great event, maybe coming to next year, check it out, you know, I heard April 1st, the tickets go on sale for 2019, you won't be disappointed.